this is my classroom. And at the back, I have a rack that we used to grow soil plants on. And I'm converting that rack to a rail system. And I'm using a PVC fence post that measures five inches by five inches. Uh, and it's, uh, those are five foot lengths. It's gonna have a total of 60 grow sites. I actually have 72 holes um, total, but I'm gonna be leaving one hole open per rail uh, just in case I need to do some cleaning and maintenance. So next to my rack system, I have a Omega Gardens uh, Volks Garden, and we're gonna be trying 80 Tiny Tim tomato plants in that system this year. Uh, next to the Volks Garden, I have a grow tent that measures four feet wide by eight feet long. And I'm quite excited about this one. This one's gonna be quite the most uh, fascinating project we're gonna be working on this year. Uh, I have in there two lights from Hydro Grow. They're 520 watts each. And we're gonna see if those lights can actually grow uh, a watermelon. And if it does, I'm gonna be really impressed. So I'm gonna uh, put aside a, five, a four foot wide by five foot long section for, for that test. And next to that, I'll be splitting that tent up into two using some mylar and we'll be running a cucumber grow and the cucumber grow is a, is a variety called pico which is a all female flowering plant so pollination is a lot easier indoors and it's often used in greenhouses. So next to the grow tent I have a, uh, uh, a rack that is going to be used as our test rack testing lights and then finally I have one more small tent, and that small tent, right now it has my seedlings in it, but once the seedlings are, are ready for transferring to our other systems, then uh, that's gonna be used to test out some other lights and uh, grow some other, other things. So I'll give you guys an update in a week or so. Um, hopefully everything will be built by then. Right now I'm just kind of piecing together everything and letting it dry.